Hi everybody, it's Nirvana and uh, I just got home from the gym and I have the worst hair on the planet. Um, I'm actually met up with a lady uh, across the, across, god I'm itchy, across the way who, um, you know, she lives by herself and <clears throat> has a cute Pomeranian named Lexi. And she and I went to the gym together and unfortunately she couldn't do anything, she has some knee problems. And the only machine she can use is the ARC trainer. And there was somebody on it the entire time. So she allowed me to get my 20 some minutes in. And then we actually walked around and talked for a good 45 minutes afterwards. Very nicely. Today, I was like, why am I not making this all the time? I took ice in my little crappy Hamilton Beach blender thing. And just filled it up with water. At about uh, almost like to an inch to the top and then I added my um, my water enhancer so I have a tea slushy oh, 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 it's so good so, it's so delicious mm. Mm. don't mind if I do I also have a banana I kind of don't want to eat it because it's all brown brown I don't I don't really know what to spotted spot spotted it's spotted so I don't want to eat it uh, no but it's it's once it starts getting kind of soft and uh, this looks very phallic I'm gonna put that down um, <clears throat> once it starts getting really soft and then it starts uh, getting too sweet I don't like to eat them but I'm the only person here who's going to eat them, so then I feel bad for wasting them, so I'm going to force myself to eat that one. And uh, no, I don't add peanut butter, and no, I do not na make banana sandwiches. Ugh. And I can't stand banana pudding. I'd rather, like, poke my eye out. Uh, you know, that was a staple in North Carolina where I happened to have uh, grew up was uh, nanner pudding. Nanner pudding, people. Nanner pudding. Not banana pudding. Nanner pudding get it right so uh, you know and that is uh, banana pudding from jello jello banana pudding um, fresh bananas and uh, vanilla wa nilla wafers they're not even vanilla wafers they're nilla wafers and then you just kind of cool whip it gross uh, so nasty so yeah I don't I don't eat that anyway um, I did go in my my tank top with the arms out, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, and I'm working out, I want to be comfortable, I'm hot, uh, you know, and what keeps me cool is not wearing sleeves, and what keeps me cool is having something light to work out in, so whatever, so I'm really excited, I got three miles in today, three miles in, on the bike oh my god and you know I would have went longer but like I said I went I went with somebody and um, since she couldn't use the arc trainer I felt bad so I kind of just kind of just went into my own thing uh, you know and as soon as the thing told me to cool down I went ahead and got off so I took a picture it's on Facebook already um, I was already sweaty so uh, I want, I think you need to be true to yourself. I think that's one of the most important things that people who are going on a journey need to be honest. You know, I'm going to tell you right now that I am not perfect in any way, shape, and or form. I eat things I'm not supposed to. Sometimes I do. Most of the times I don't. But there are times when I have a cupcake. There are times when I have peanut butter. There are times when I have had a handful of french fries. I am not perfect. Uh, you know, sometimes I have a bite of bread. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to throw that out there because I think that's important. You know, when you say someone inspires you and that person isn't honest with you, that's the difference. I will be honest with you. I will tell you that, you know, hey, sometimes when I feel like it, I have a cupcake. I do. Or a piece of chocolate. Or ice cream. I mean, not not much on the ice cream, but, you know, I could if I wanted to. I, my husband likes to go to a place called Fenton's here. 
it's a creamery and he'll get a oh my god he'll get a sundae like the size of my head and you know I'll sneak my spoon over there and like take a little bit but it's things now with me are hit and miss things in my head sound oh man I want some freaking ice cream so bad and it's gonna taste amazing and then the minute I put it in my mouth I'm like well I could I suppose it uh, it's not worth it I guess I really didn't want that in the first place or I'll find an ice cream that's really good and I eat it and my stomach's like um, <clears throat> you don't you don't really want to to feel good right now do you because I, I was going to make sure that you don't feel good. Uh, how about you don't eat that? Yeah, let's go with don't eat that. So, <clears throat> you know, that was that was a big thing for me. Um, learning what your choices are and making the right choice is, is very hard sometimes. I do not eat rice. I do not eat pasta. Why don't I eat rice and pasta? Because I have never been a huge person to eat rice and or pasta anyway. I am, uh, I loved, uh, potatoes and bread. That, that was my, uh, that was my stuff right there. Potatoes and bread. Oh, man. I could tear up some food right there. Uh, hard, crunchy, you know, crispy French bread break that off with some butter, break that off with some cream cheese, get you some of that spreadable herb cheese, oh, oh. bagels, fresh bagels toasted in the oven, oh man, or you know, hot buttered like rolls, uh, you know, soft squishy bread, mm. ciabatta rolls with sandwiches, don't mind if I do, uh, stuff like uh, Ruffles potato chips, they were awesome. Um, eating stuff like, I hope this isn't triggering somebody. Like, you go in your kitchen, like, well, I mean, she said she used to eat it and it sounds delicious. No, but like stuff like, um, you know, french fries from McDonald's. Oh, I used to love those. You couldn't pay me to go to a McDonald's right now. You couldn't pay me to stop at a Wendy's and get a hamburger. You couldn't, you could not pay me to stop at. Oh, oh, fast food. I don't like it. I just, I have, I have no interest when we're passing places on the road. And when I was at my biggest, oh, I would beg, I would beg you to stop. I'd be like, hey, I'll, I'll buy if you fly. You know, like I'll pay for, you know, the quarter pounder with cheese meal, supersized sweet tea. That was my jam. Now I have no interest. None not even the smallest amount of interest in any of that. I just don't want it. Um, I'd like to attribute that to, you know, my surgery and my taste buds changing and my outlook on life is that there are so many other places that I could stop that I can actually have something different that'll be better for me. I try really hard to eat things even when I'm at my 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 worst, even when I'm my willpower has failed me, I still am conscious of, well, what is this going to do for my body? Is there any nutritional value to this at all whatsoever? And most of the time, and I do say most of the time, I will choose something that will at least have some sort of nutritional value. So it's at least doing something. It's not just empty carbs or empty calories or empty fat. You know, it, it's doing something for me. So that's that's a big thing for me. Um, I do want to be honest. You know, if I, I'm I'm still on the verge of whether or not I want to do these every day. I think that uh, I would enjoy doing these every day. I think I really enjoy talking to you all and getting to know everybody. And that cut off weirdly. <clears throat> But I just wanted to say thank you for pushing me to become a better me. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I also, in the very end of this clip, I'm going to put what I had for lunch, which I may also have for dinner because it was good. It was very tasty. Uh, tons of protein. You know, very minimal calories, which I appreciate. So I will see you guys later. Bye.
lovelies, I wanted to show you my lunch. I have two thin pieces of, see how thin, of reduced fat French Swiss cheese. I have my honey ham and honey turkey shaved. See how thin that is? I put, I gathered up a, an ounce of each, split it in half, and then this is hot Dijon mustard. So what I do is I just wrap them up like so. Dip them in my mustard and there you go. Protein, 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 and more protein. And it's really tasty and it's really filling. And I'm making my husband pasta for me. Because I don't eat pasta. So, there's my lunch. This is his lunch. Um, I'll finish the rest of my vlog later. I just do a little snippet today. So, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye.